Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Kate and I love all things makeup, beauty, skincare, and fun. Today we're going to be talking about the newest makeup releases and my unfiltered opinions on them. So if you're interested in this type of content, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I would love it so much if you would subscribe to my channel down below and without any further ado, let's go. Right, so first up, we have a collaboration with Beauty Creations Cosmetics and Louis Castro. If my memory serves me correct, Louis is the, I don't know if it's co-founder or he is somehow though related to Glamlight Cosmetics. He is actually responsible, I'm pretty sure, for the creative vision behind the Chucky collaboration as well as their most recent Rick and Morty collaboration. So it looks like they have a whole slew of things going on here. There is the Snatched Water Resistant Liner Duo. Um, it's, these apparently are not available individually. Um, and then there is the Lip Trio. Those are going to retail for $19, which is actually a good deal. I don't see a price on the Liner Duo, which is interesting. Um, the Baddest Para Shadow Palette, um, 25 shades for $26. Great price point. Um, Full Para Potential Foaming Lashes for $16. The Chi Chi Blenders are going to be $12. Um, there's a collectible keychain for $12. And then if you wanted the full Kit and Caboodle PR set, it's going to retail for $99. All of that sounds just lovely. Um, that being said, I don't feel like inclined or like absolutely drawn to pick up any of these. The lip products look beautiful, yes. Um, the shadow palette, I love purples. So if I was gonna grab anything, it would definitely be that palette because again, I do love purples. I'll be honest, I have not tried anything from Beauty Creations. So I don't have a point of reference um, as far as like, is it absolutely incredible? Do I need it? Do I, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm so happy for Louie. He does great, amazing, creative things. This just isn't something that I like absolutely need. It looks like Glamlight, um, collab speaking of Glamlight, collaborated with Hershey's again. So it looks like they have two different collections, both the Cookies and Cream and the Milk Chocolate collection. Let's see here as far as prices go. Um, so the 12, so each of these are two separate collections, I guess. So the palettes are going to have 12 shades each and each retail for $22. Um, the lip kits are going to retail for $18 each, and that includes a lipstick and a lip gloss. Um, the face and body bronzer. I suspect the bronzer um, must be from the Milk Chocolate collection because the other one's definitely a highlighter. At any rate, both of those retail for $14, which isn't bad at all. I honestly thought, like, looking at this picture, I thought that the um, Milk Chocolate one were highlighters for those of us with deep um, to dark skin tones, but maybe I'm mistaken here. Um, and then <clears throat> if you want the PR box, it's going to be $65. And then if you want it all, but no PR box, it's going to be $52. Okay. So here's, <laughs> I am not like, I don't want to say I'm disinterested, but I'm kind of disinterested in this. I have a lot of thoughts about this one. Um, nothing about this is like speaking to me their first Hershey collection with the um little kisses um I actually have one that I have several down here um in my makeup collection I like them because they were colorful they were fun the packaging was super cute um and it, that's not to take away that the packaging isn't cute and thoughtful like the um shadows are obviously chocolate bars and that's very cute um the thing is, is that like, it's very neutral leaning. And so if I was going to be interested in one, I think it would be the milk chocolate palette versus the cookies and cream palette. Um, I'm not really sure. I have, I didn't buy the Rick and Morty collection from Glamlight yet either. That's not to say that I won't. I just feel like, and <clears throat> I love Glamlight. I'm so sorry. I'm like, my allergies are going crazy. So I am so sorry. I just feel like Glamlight is one of those brands I love so much. I have so much of their makeup and I love them. And <laughs> I feel like this year they're putting out so much makeup that I cannot keep up. I cannot keep up. Um, 
and so like I, I understand of course like the um, content creators that get the PR how they're able to review every collection and I wish you know I wish that I was in a space financially where I could just lickety split drop a hundred bucks um on every single collab they put out because I love them like I want to support them I want them to succeed um it's just right now for me it kind of feels a little overwhelming so I honestly am not confident that I'm going to buy anything from either of these collections if again if I was going to buy something I think it would be the milk chocolate palette and maybe like the highlighter palette because the bronzer the bronzers look super sparkly and I'm just not convinced that that would pan out well for me you know um Juvia's Place has released a new collection of lip oils these are their magic lip oils um five fruity flavors they're going to retail for ten dollars each uh, formulated with vitamin E and fruit extract to help keep your lips soft let's see I'm not really sure what, where the magic is coming in here um but that being said they do look nice the $10 price point is also nice. I have lip oils though. I have some of the Sigma ones. Those are my favorite. I also have some from Lunar Beauty. I enjoy those as well. And it's just like how many lip oils does one human need <clears throat> is kind of my thought process on this one. So for me, this is going to be an easy pass. Um, that being said, I can see how people would be intrigued. The shots look beautiful. Like they really do look like they offer something a little special as far as the color goes to the lips I just don't need those right now you know what I mean I just don't need them give me glow is coming out with some water activated liners these are super cute so they're little duos it looks like um they are love it water liners in different colors eight dollars each um the brush is going to be two dollars and the bundle is eight okay so there's the little duos are going to be eight dollars a piece and then if you want a bundle of the brushes specifically to use these um it's eight dollars so price point across the board is great that being said i i'm tempted i'm tempted to grab some of these that being said though i just got earlier this year but i have it nonetheless this little book from Unearthly Cosmetics and it has quite the array of water activated liners so I just don't feel like for me this would make a lot of sense I'll be, I'll be honest I love colorful makeup and graphic liner is not something that I'm like chomping at the bit to do very often um so I'm glad I have the one by Unearthly but to get more that are going to in theory just kind of like sit in my collection and hang out doesn't make good sense the price point is great. I enjoy Give Me Glow Cosmetics. This launch just does not make sense for me. Electrum Cosmetics released a new multi-chrome palette. This is stunning. Um, so the Celestial Witch is a magnetic palette. So these can be taken out, um, used in different ways as far as like formulate or um, formatting them rather. Um, nine shades with six multi-chromes and three holographic multi-chrome finishes. So this retails for $75 and it is available now. Beautiful, beautiful. Here is the thing, here is the thing. I absolutely understand the price point. They're an indie brand. These types of shadows from my understanding are not cost effective to make and produce. So I'm not even offended by the fact that it's $75 for six shades. It's just that I know myself and I'm not going to reach for something like this. I have one palette from Adept Cosmetics that has strictly shimmer shadows and I reach for it very rarely. Um, and that's kind of like my lesson to myself as far as like I'm not going to be investing money into something that I know darn well I'm not going to use. I, oh, this looks beautiful though. Like the shifts look absolutely stunning. The other thing for me is that like to spend a ton of money and again justifiably I understand why it's so much but like to spend a lot a lot of money on these special special shadows when I have eyes like these makes no sense you know I have hooded eyes I like you can barely see what's going on at any given time so special shades I love them I love looking at them I love watching people apply them and wear them but on me they're just not 
it's not the best platform. You know what I mean? It's, it does not give them the opportunity to shine like they deserve to shine. New by Makeup Forever, they have their new HD skin concealer. It's said to hydrate, plump, and blur texture, color correct. These are going to retail for $29. It also claims that it's going to be 24 hour wear. Um, I would be interested in trying these. $29 is pretty like on brand for Makeup Forever. That being said, $29 for a concealer is quite a bit of money. Um, I do have one of their concealers and it's okay. I got the wrong shade for myself, which is my own darn fault and I should have returned it because that, uh, consequently I never use it because it's not quite right. Um, but I'm not opposed to trying this out. I don't see a release date right now, but certainly I will let you know if it is available now. New by Valentino Beauty. These are their Liquoroso 2-in-1 Soft Matte Liquid Lipstick and Blush. Um, whoa. So there's going to be 12 shades and they retail for $40 each. Um, that's the whoa. Uh, so give subtle color and glow. This is going to be an absolute no. <laughs> this is going to be an absolute no for me. Typically products that are marketed as lip and cheek do not work for the type of makeup that I prefer to do. Um, I find that typically if something is going to work really well as a lip product, it's going to have some kind of like goopiness to it or some kind of something that allows it to adhere to the lips. And I just, I typically find that it does not translate well to the cheeks or vice versa. If it works really well on my cheeks, it doesn't necessarily look great on my lips. So for those two reasons, and then mixed with the fact that it's $40, <laughs> it's going to be an absolute no. New from Kevin Aquan, the lightning stick. These are brightening highlighters, um, creamy formula, glass light glow. These retail for whoa, $53. And there's two shades. Um, no. Across the board, no. I'm I do not like stick highlighters um even if they're in a cream well, obviously they're in a cream if they're in a stick but like I do not like that formula it just typically does not apply super easily the fact that it comes in two shades for Patricia and Jane is bizarre um and it's $53 the other thing with Kevin Aquan Beauty I don't have anything personally against him or like his makeup products I am not like somebody who's super familiar with makeup products, but I feel like you can always find them at TJ Maxx. Always. So for me, paying full price for Kevin Aquan seems foolish. Um, Kylie is releasing the classic matte palette, all-in-one eye palette, features 10 essential shades to create everyday effortless looks. Okay, so here's the thing. I had Kylie's original palette, and so for me, looking at this palette, it brings back nostalgia because it really does look almost identical to that original palette and I loved it at the time I, I did I really enjoyed it however it's big however um something like this has been done 17,000 times over many of us are no longer <laughs> and I understand I'm like kind of in a different space um as far as like how I consume beauty content because I consume more than the average bear and my preferences are not the most basic a little basic but not the most basic and this is the most basic like quite literally the most basic palette that you're ever going to see um but I just this has been done 17,000 times over and at this point my personal feelings on it is that who is brand loyal to Kylie Cosmetics? Oomst. Oomst. Because at one time there was a group of us and I was included. I was the older end of that group but I was still part of that group that were brand loyal to Kylie Cosmetics because she was doing things that were different and innovative and cool. Um, that's not really what she's doing anymore. Her nor her brand and so this feels irrelevant which is on brand for the Kardashians right now, but this is just an absolute no. Absolutely no. If I was like, you know what, I really need a palette of all matte basic shadows, I would go get the Mario one. You know what I mean? Like makeup by Mar the makeup artist Mario, I would go get his. I wouldn't get Kylie Jenner's, you know? I don't know. 
it's a no for me. Um, Too Faced has their new Better Than Sex Foreplay Mascara Primer. Um, so it's going to lengthen, thicken, lift your lashes, and improves mascara for 24 hours. Who's wearing mascara that long? But I digress. Wraps lashes in nourishing blend of argan and grapeseed oils, rich in omega-3 and 9 fatty acids. Um, infused with nylon fibers for length and volume with deep black pigments. Double arch crescent brush. There's a lot of claims here. There's a lot going on. Um, that being said, I, oh, golly, I've tried makeup primers or makeup primers. Yeah, no, eyelash primers, excuse me, in the past. And I just have not had any semblance of luck. This one sounds like it could be cool because, and that's only because it says that there's fibers in here that are going to like elongate the lashes. So then I can imagine how maybe putting mascara over that might be beautiful but for me I'm just like also like what if they flake off after you apply it I don't know this is just like this is one of those things that I need to see other people playing with and enjoying because I'm not like chomping at the bit to own this you know um Chanel revealed their new fall collection for 2023 um it looks like there's going to be some new of those um lipstick type like lip balm things a couple new blushes some new uh, I can't even really tell what those are. Those like individual pigments, maybe eye pigments and then nail polish. So I'm not opposed to trying this. I admittedly still have not tried Chanel Beauty. Um, let me know down below if you've tried anything from them and if there's anything that you really think that is worth the money because that's kind of my thing. Chanel, of course, is like a luxury price point and I just I always struggle with buying luxury like I have some pieces in my collection that are at that luxury price point but a lot of them it's just hard to justify in my opinion I'm not opposed just struggling to justify it hourglass is coming out with a new um, foundation this is their fail hydrating tint foundation the shade range is deplorable at best um, which is not good obviously it claims that it's going to be lightweight, boosts skin moisture by 52%. What an oddly specific number. Um, healthy looking glow, dewy. Um, this is probably not going to be for me. It's a dewy, glowy, lightweight tint. Um, I have a lot of those in my collection right now. That being said, I do need to do a declutter. That'll come at the end of the year, but I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced that I need this right now. I have a lot of a lot of foundations in my collection. I need admittedly to declutter them, but right now because they're not decluttered, I almost kind of feel overwhelmed by them. <laughs> so, for me like buying foundations right now is just like not at the tip top of my priority list, especially one that's going to be dewy in the summer. I mean, you can see right now I'm like sweating to death in my beauty room. So anything that does not have any kind of promise of longevity is just not really for me right now. Um, Natasha Denona, it is their new mini starlet palette. So let's see here. A matte hot pink. I think that they're confused about what hot pink is, but I digress. Um, so it's going to have five shades. It's um, inspired by their Starlight palette. I don't have that palette. I don't have any of her giant palettes. This one looks super cute and honestly looks like something I would get a lot of use out of. I have her mini retro glam palette and I love that thing. I've used that pretty excessively so and I think this one would kind of fall in line as far as something that is really easy to use for every single day and something I would get a lot of use out of so definitely plan on picking this up. Lawless has Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Satin Cream Lipsticks. Um, these are going to retail for $28 each. I could see myself picking up a couple of these. I hate, I hate spending like $30 for a lipstick. It seems outrageous. Um, for one, mind you, for no lipsticko. So that is kind of like annoying at best. Um, but there are some, there are some shades in here that admittedly look like shades that I would love, which is why I'm tempted to do this because I feel like a lot of nudes are very mid-tone, very like peach, very mauve, 
um, or brown. And I am typically not looking for those things. I have those things. I'm typically looking for something a little more white based and with like a really soft beige, but preferably a really soft pink. And I see a couple of shades in this line that match that description for what I personally am looking for and I feel like I'm lacking in my collection. So that is why, despite the fact that they're nearly $30, I am tempted to buy these. It looks like Profusion has a new collaboration with Jurassic Park. Um, these, this looks cute. This looks cute. I am hoping this will show up in Walmart because I think that the general public um, will enjoy this because it's cute um let's see here a lot of items going on here looks like there's a hand mirror a bronzer a eyeshadow palette some kind of mascara perhaps or lipstick um a fanny pack which is just so cute a setting spray this is a cute collection i'm not a jurassic park fan i'll be honest could not care less Good, not care less. Um, but I know plenty of people that are huge Jurassic Park fans. This is a super like novelty collection. So I'm hoping that this will be available like in Walmart or something where the general public can get access to it and love it and enjoy it. It's just not for me. This is a little random, but I'm going to talk about it. Um, so it looks like Crocs collaborated with Barbie and there's Barbie Crocs. Uh, and I wanted to talk about this here today because I'm interested in these. So they retail from 60 to $75. I'm honestly not sure if they are available still, but they look super cute. I love Crocs. I just thought they were cute and I wanted to talk about them briefly. Tatcha has a new makeup removing balm and it is their Indigo from their Indigo line. Um, so it's the Indigo cleansing balm. It's going to retail for $38. This is formulated with Japanese Indigo for sensitive skin. Um, so I love a good makeup melting balm and I love Tatcha. So at some point, yes, I absolutely want to get my hands on this because I feel like this is going to be fabulous. So this is admittedly a brand I don't shop from because I am concerned for the humans that work there, but I wanted to bring it up in case other people are interested in it. This is by She Glam. They're doing a collaboration, it looks like, with Harry Potter. Um, it looks like they have a couple of palettes that are going to be quads for $5.49 each, or you can get all four quads for $19.99, which is not a bad, bad price point. Um, looks like there might be some lip products, maybe some lip... Um, moisturizers I can't really tell lip glosses perhaps it's kind of hard to tell in these pictures exactly what is available um, but let's let you know these are available it's super cute nothing though like even if I did shop from Shein nothing here is like screaming at me none of these are super speaking to me so it's just a pass for me it looks like Patrick Ta is releasing a couple of new shades of his dupe blush duos. Um, one of them looks absolute, a couple of them look absolutely stunning. Um, so there's She's Wanted, which is a deep plum. She's Flushed, which is a deep peachy pink. And She's Giving, which is a vibrant hot pink. Naturally, I am super, super interested in She's Giving. And I'm also super interested in She's Wanted. Both of those look super unique and beautiful. Um, these will be available July 15th. Give Beauty is releasing some blush duos. So there, it looks like there's going to be six different duos. I don't think there's any pricing information on these as of right now. Um, I'll be honest, everything about Give Beauty, and this is, this sounds really harsh, and maybe it is. Maybe I'm being rude, but um, everything about them gives, um, oh my gosh, private labeled, doesn't it? Like, don't these feel private labeled? Like, I like these, I'm going to pick these colors and I'm going to put them in the most basic compact with the most basic formula. That is what it's giving. That That is what Give Beauty is giving, is like basic... <laughs> basic private label formulas. I just, I really wanted to get their highlighters and then I saw reviews on them and they were like super subtle, not really anything revolutionary. And that is what Give Beauty is giving, is basic. And so for me, these are a no. Last but certainly not least, MAC Cosmetics is releasing this new Astro Shine collection, which is like cute. I like what you did there, MAC. I like, I like that. 
and the packaging is a little bizarro. So it looks like there's going to be some lipsticks, maybe a highlighter, and some lip glosses involved in this collection. I'll be curious to see the price points and where this is available. MAC is one of those brands that's like very classic. People still love them. People still know them. The packaging on this is like a little bizarre. I think the highlighter packaging specifically is like, what's going on here? I don't know. It's just a little bizarre to me, but that being said, I'm still intrigued. I'm still intrigued. So who's winning here, Kate? Who's winning? That is all for the new makeup releases right now. I feel like, I feel like we're in a bit of a lull. I feel like we're in a bit of a lull. I also feel like personally I'm behind on reviewing new makeup, which is not really what I want my channel to be about, to be honest. Um, I'm not really like interested in being like a reviewer um, all the time. I, of course, I love playing with new makeup, but like I, I don't like that like type of frantic feeling like you gotta order it and you gotta order it overnight and you gotta like really you know that's just not my vibe um but that being said I just don't feel like there's been like a lot super recently that's intrigued me I definitely want to get my hands on some old news products um that collaboration with Laura Lee and Manny MUA I have to get my hands on that there's also some new palettes from Odin's Eye that I want to get my hands on Lunar Beauty launched some new lipsticks that I'm super intrigued by um, and there's just like a couple odds and ends at Ulta that I want to grab but from today it's kind of a I don't know it's kind of a meh I don't know I'm not convinced let me know what new makeup you are loving what new makeup you were most looking forward to thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up I'd love it so much if you would subscribe to my channel down below as always stay happy stay healthy and stay blessed and I will see you on the next video bye